Well, it seems like it's a new part of the channel, and I'm in Let Me Explain Studios. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> now I'm in another channel to react. Hey fellas, it's Son of Beast. That's right, because I am in Let Me Explain Studios channel. I basically wanted to talk about what is going on. Have you ever saw a YouTuber that's what, running around right, right in between the stores, the park, the dinner, or any places that you have been to? If you just find one of the YouTubers there, you may recognize it and you feel like, oh my gosh, I just found a YouTuber. Well, most of it in my town have never really mentioned before because only one happened when we were in New York City to go to the BFDI and MSA tour of 2024. But basically, I noticed it that one of it just recognizes, and not really most people really recognizing me, but however, they're because of from the other state, and I noticed that it was a little bit of a bigger change at that point. But hey, there's a lot of great chances on the opportunity at VidCon that realizes that I have a YouTube channel. But as I mentioned before, I've never been the only one who has been a franchise YouTuber to be reaching over 10 thousand subscribers i mean oh my god i mean i i gotta do my best at it but i'm doing really well with my reactions so let's talk about what rebecca has so let's see where her story comes in and now for her to do i will present to you rebecca party hello my geeks and peeps my explainers and blah 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 listen here if you know that intro chances are you know who i am and if you don't Hi, I'm Rebecca. Thank you kindly for noticing I don't have a mouth. Jumped right out of the inkwell without it. Uh, can't really say that. Anyways, back to my original point. If you know me, there's a chance you may one day be gallivanting about in the world. Post-pandemic. And Post-pandemic? Uh, I have not heard of it before. Happen to spy a wild Becca in her natural habitat. And if that glorious day comes, I assure you, my little oodalallies, that it is quite okay to approach. I shall not maul you to death. Probably. Something that you'll hear a lot from storytime animators is that they don't know why people get excited or overwhelmed meeting them. Oh, please don't cry. I'm just a weirdo who spends way too much time in front of a computer screen and doesn't shower nearly as much as I should. Oh, and that's James anyway. I mean, basically, you wouldn't notice that before. But hey, don't get yourself uncomfortable if you know that. You get, you get it? That's it. That's the reality of our situations. Yes, of course! The day-to-day -day of what we do is not glamorous. Actually, strike that. I'll tell you the one time that this job does feel glamorous. Conventions, where sponsors give us a metric ton of free stuff, and when we step on a stage, everybody goes, bah! But even then, you're working really hard at these events. You're sweaty and exhausted, and your feet hurt because you just had to wear the sparkly red high heels, didn't you, Dorothy? Oh, I basically noticing. Almost kind of like the same character from the movies of Voice of Oz. I mean, that's kind of funny, though, too. And basically everyone goes, bah, why? I never just even heard what they say. Click them together. Maybe you'll get some Dr. Shulls, you fashionista wannabe. <laughs> Whatever, you want to be. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. We don't know what you're talking about, so move along. Oh, right. Meeting all of you. Sit down. I got funny stories. All right, I'll get it. About three-ish years ago, I was at the grocery store. Nothing particularly important about this trip, I was just getting my things. I got in line for the checkout, and there was a high school kid and his mom in front of me. Big, tall, football player kind of guy. Now, when I'm at a convention, or on the rare occasion appearing on camera for a video, I tend to doll myself up a bit. But that day, I was in normal Becca mode. No mm. makeup, my hair was all frizzy, I was wearing my glasses. Like, that would help disguise me. No one would suspect a thing if I wear my Clark Kent glass. <laughs> Expected you would. But even still, sometimes people won't realize who I am because I'm not all pretty-fied. Case in point, while I was standing there in line, I noticed the high school guy started to stare at me for a long time. Is, is that what be me uh, considering if I'm a high school kid and I watch her videos all the time? I basically have not heard of it. Wheels definitely turning in his head. He pulled out his phone, searched for something, and then began to look between me and his phone a few times. Yeah, I would have basically noted that. Just saying. That's a fun feeling, knowing you're being stared at but not wanting to awkwardly return eye contact so you do that quick glance thing over and over. The guy's mother finished paying and began wheeling her basket away, yelling at him to get the lead out, we're going! 
He looked back at me rather frantically and said, uh, uh, are you Rebecca Parham? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, are you Rebecca Parham? Yes. Picture? Sure. Please, can I get a picture with you? Click. And he was out the door. Okay, goodbye. Door. The cashier girl <laughs> looked at me. <laughs> I was basically expressing myself. I, when I was like a high school student, I felt like, you're the famous guy. I mean, can I get a picture of you? And before or after I started college here for my first year, it was at September uh, before the end of the month. Well, the end of the month was already got passed already. So I felt like, yeah, I mean, I couldn't explain myself because I was able to do most of it at every single time for VidCon 2023. And basically now or not, I may want to return again. But basically, you're always noticing. I mean, all the students were definitely giving pictures of me, <laughs> which, which is pretty cool. And I definitely noticing that, yeah, every student you really love and watch videos all the time, I guess that's something that you really wanted to do and then go right into the, one of the fun events like VidCon. The video is the best place to be. And I, I really love video making and it's it's fun. Just note that. It means said... What the hell was that about? Okay, watch what you're saying to her, okay? He, uh, he recognized me from my YouTube channel. Oh, of course you would. I mean, okay. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. Why? Why? Why are you not a YouTube fan? I mean, you don't care about that? Oh, boo-hoo. You're gonna get ricked off of your tricked rolls. Speaking of stores, a little girl once followed me around the pharmacy section of Target. Every time I stopped in an aisle and looked at something, she'd stand six feet from me and pretend she was looking at the shelves too. I know she was pretending because little girls are not usually that fascinated with Rogaine. She side-eye glanced at me a lot, but never did say anything to me. I wasn't wearing makeup that day either and was probably very sleep deprived, so I must have looked rather terrifying. Resting witch face and all. Yes, come closer, little girl. Would you like a selfie? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I would definitely like a selfie with you. I promise it won't steal your soul! Mm. I very often get surprised by the types of people who know who I am. They pop up in every situation too. See, I am more often than not approached by young people. Kids, teens, early college, you get it. Yeah, basically like me. You know that. So when my mom and I were in the airport and we walked up to our gate, I was rather surprised when a man traveling alone in his 40s came up to me and said, Excuse me, but are you Rebecca Parham? What? I was not ready for that. I mean, why not? My brain fully expected this man to say, Excuse me, is this the flight to London or some other old person thing like, Do you remember that show Thundercats? He was a nice guy and told me that he watched my videos with his daughter. Ah, your child forces you to watch me. Now that makes sense. Well, fair play to you, dedicated parental unit. There I couldn't explain it more. There was this one time back in 2019, I was in downtown San Antonio for San Japan, a big old weeb fest anime convention. Oh, pretty cool. I was there to sing at a concert with fellow YouTubers Caleb Hiles, Anna Pansu, and CG5. Oh, that's pretty amazing. And what did you guys do? The night before the convention started, we all went to dinner, and when we were done, we called an Uber to get back to the hotel. Hmm. I was in the front seat, and Caleb was in the back seat directly behind me. We must have been talking about something very interesting, because I had turned towards my window to better speak to him over my shoulder. The car stopped at a red light, and while we were sitting there, some movement outside of my window caught my eye. I looked up, and this is what I saw in the suburban next to me. Oh, what? <laughs> is somebody acting like, Yay, Rebecca, we love your videos! Yeah, I was super excited! <laughs> Somebody is a fan of it, of Rebecca Pardon. I mean, that kid over here, I mean, all your arms go crazy and said, I'm your biggest fan. Please sign this autograph for me. <laughs> she didn't really care. Why? Okay. What is, how could you think you're doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The dude is making a hello moment, and this lady says hello back. Okay, whatever. 
Funny enough, there was one time my face wasn't even the thing getting recognized. About three years ago, I was at Disney World with my family, and on this particular day, we were at Epcot. Oh, basically I remember that one. I noticed before. David and I were waiting outside the bathrooms for Mom and Rachel when a girl walked by and noticed that David was wearing an Aperture Laboratories t-shirt. The nerd. She stopped and said, Hey, I really like your t-shirt. I couldn't help but notice that the girl was wearing a Spirited Away shirt, so I said, Oh, and look, you're wearing Hayao Miyazaki. You really ought to go over to the Japan Pavilion here. They have all sorts of fun anime and manga stuff. I was rather satisfied with my perfectly executed social interaction there. Ha, <laughs> my fellow geeks are so easy to talk to. But then I noticed how she was looking at me. She was staring very intently and squinting her eyes in suspicion. Oh, that's kind of like very, very little, little cringing me out, but I felt like a little serious to make. Oh, no. Immediately, I thought I had said something stupid. Oh, God, I insulted her. I assumed she liked anime. I missed oh, no. Miyazaki. I did something I must have. She just kept staring at me, but then said, You sound oh. familiar. Hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers. My little oodle allies, Rebecca Pan here. <laughs> and that was all she needed to hear. Eh, who needs to stand in line to take a picture with a princess? You got a moderately popular YouTuber over here. Oh, yeah, go, go with the YouTuber. Especially, like, Adam Katz and, of course, uh, Carrie Hong had just made their way to Walt Disney World before the event ended, after the event ended. So, yeah, that was basically that. I mean, and don't be jealous to say hi. I mean, come meet us there. I mean, they're happy to have you here and come meet them at Walt Disney World. But now it's already over, so I basically don't know what to say. But if the next location is happening in Jersey, I don't know what the future is. So it basically could be yes or basically go back to New York City. Might be one word of that. But I'll never forget the only reason I got recognized that day was because of David's nerdy shirt. You win this one, brother. And speaking of nerdy shirts, we have one of those oh, sweet new Witch of the Wood shirts in the shop for ya. We call this one the Garden Witch shirt. Good for ladies, gents, and all other corporeal beings. Get them while they're hot, baby cakes. Uh, can't really just say about that, but that's like a real face I know of. Link in the description below. All right, I think I'm just about out of time for this video. Now, don't forget, explainers and entertainers, if you see this face poking about in the post-pandemic outside world, you shan't be afraid to introduce yourselves. It warms my heart to see your blessed little faces and subsequently squeeze them. Have a good day, my little oodle Thank you so much for tuning in, but now I gotta tune out. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was excellent. And I gotta say is that um, the pandemic already passed, so that was in 2020, so I realized that it was so perfect to watch this one, so I, before, wa before reacting, I had to watch first, and now you get it, because that one was excellent. And well done, let me explain studios, and well done for yourself, Rebecca, I mean, thank you so much for entertaining to the world of how that happened to get recognized, and with that being said, I give you a... 9.5 out of 10 stars. It was excellent to start for the first video, but I haven't really done the other channels that much. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you really like it so far, be sure to check out her channel. Link into the about page. And I better say is now, I wanted to say is that um, that's going to be my channel, but Link is on its way at the calling card at the end of the video, so... Don't forget, I'll be on here soon. Anyways, that's it. I expected that it is over. So, yeah, basically, I must say, I mean, this one give a good crack out of it. I mean, well done with that. Getting recognized. Almost like Bryson does. Now you get it. The point. Well, not the point of actually, but I was really noticing that this video was current to be a great day. And basically, you may have already remembered this one here from last year when I went to VidCon in Baltimore. It was pr actually pretty fun to check the creators out and also what's going on in between. So basically, my mom and dad are really are saying that, OK, we can definitely just go to that place because I haven't been to Baltimore since over decades here after passing 2022. And then it was last year that definitely did happen. So that was 2023. 
but in 2025, it's going to be another VidCon, so hopefully that it won't get cancelled by the time they are making some uh, creators to join in for the VidCon panel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and explain yourself uh, which one you like so far. Do you like this one for Rebecca Pardon, or do you like Bryson on the other side, or which creators do you like the most? Let me know in your facts down here, comment below. In the meantime, I am wrapping it up, so I'm hoping to beg for another views to check out my channel, and hopefully this might be a lot to take of, so let's hope we'll see about that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, peace out for a while as the start of the Let Me Explain Studios of Getting Recognized dial. This is Chris from Son of Beast, thank you for watching, and I will see you again for the next video. Explain yourself! Peace out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody.